customers have power beyond our imagination. They have access to information which gives them unlimited choice, which gives them power and control to either reward or punish you. And in the world we live in today of instant communication, where anybody can go online and tweet and blog or send a video or a text talking about you, your product, your company, your values all the time, you lose their trust, the relationship is over. And it's no different than in any of our personal relationships. And you can make it deeply personal, and the book is deeply personal in many ways. At this defining moment, whether you have a regional business or you're part of a global business, what steps are you taking to be ready for recovery? Positive thinking is great in life, but it's not enough in what's being faced today. The core premise of the book is my passionate belief that customer relationships will be the dominant factor in determining success in the post-recession era. Success now is about focus and competence and delivery and execution. Every company has to be able to identify where is the unique value in what they do every day that creates value for life. Did people come to expect that there'd always be customers who would always have money? They'd always be replaceable? Did we take that for granted? Did we think growth would be a forever thing? How do you close that promise gap? How do we now under-promise and over-deliver? Do what we say we're going to do so people believe in us once again. Every customer is priceless. The level of communication within a business about the issue of trust will be what determines what businesses will survive and what will not.